In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to make some sort of a list regarding real estate. And then we're going to take that list and we're going to bulk create social media posts in Canva. Okay. So there's a few steps to this. It can be a really cool thing. You also can even schedule your posts from Canva if you want to do that as well. I'm Lori Ballin. I'm a real estate agent in Las Vegas, Nevada, serving Las Vegas, Henderson and Boulder City. Would very much appreciate your referrals. And if you happen to need a website, check out my brothers at ballinbrands.com. Now let's go ahead and share my screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to get off Facebook and we're going to go to chat GPT. So we're going to start here. If you've been following my videos, you may already be playing with chat GPT. If not, you just got to go right here to chat.openai.com chat.openai.com. Go ahead and register for an account. Now, as of today that I'm making this video, there's ChatGPT 3.5, there's ChatGPT 4, 4 just rolled out. Uh, it's very limited on what you can do with it. So I'm still pretty much teaching from 3.5, but essentially they're just both language models and ChatGPT is basically a bot, like a chat bot that can help you create content, answer questions, find information, so it's a great source for those of us that are doing things like blogs and Facebook ads and social posts, definitely popular in the real estate community. So what we do is I'm going to stick with 3.5 for now, and we're just going to ask ChatGPT to do something for us. That is called a prompt. So when we instruct it or we ask it a question, that is a prompt. So I'm going to say, make me a list of 30 quotes related to real estate. And it's going to give me 30 quotes related to real estate. You can have that be 30 tips. It could be an expert advice from a real estate agent. You can make it specific to buyers, specific to sellers, specific to investors. You could make this a list of items related to things to do in your town or neighborhood information. It's unlimited. So today, all you really need to worry about is understanding how to give ChatGPT a prompt and then how we're going to get this to bulk create images for social posts in Canva. So what we're going to do is once it creates your full list, you can let it, it, it does stop at a certain point. To get it to keep going, you would just put continue. And it has to do with how long those quotes are that it's giving us as well. So once you have all the quotes that you want, all you're going to do is you're just going to copy them. I'm just going to do this first set here. You could copy the whole thing if you want to. Then we're going to open a Google sheet or you could use Excel. You could use numbers, whatever it is that you're working with. I use Google sheets. So once we're in, you'll see a Google sheet like this, or like I said, if you're using an Excel, that's fine too. Then we're just going to paste that list right there in the first column. And we're going to download this spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to file, download. You're going to download it as a CSV file. In the description of this video, if you don't already have it, there is a link to me recording a screen, uh, recording this process with screenshots so that you can see the prompt. You can see the screenshots. If you want to slow that down and learn that way, that's fine too. So you'll find that in the link. So comma separated value CSV file. Okay. And then you can title it or just leave it titled how it is. As long as you know where to find it. Then we're going to go over to Canva. Okay. Now you could make you, this, we're going to, we're going to bulk create a batch of images to use for social posts. You could also use that list and make a, like a video that loops different tags. There's lots of ways to do this today. We're going to specifically focus on just creating those 30 or in my case, 26, 27, cause that's all I copied, but 30 
different images. And they're going to look something like this. Here's an example of, of what I already created this morning before making this video. So here's what it's going to look like when it's done. So as you can see, each image has a different quote on it and it has my URL. Now, if I wanted to, I could go in and change the background on every single one of these so that they look different. So you can edit these individually after the fact if you want to, or you could leave them all the same and just put these little tips out continuously. I kind of feel like they should be a little bit different so that somebody looking at that doesn't think you just published the exact same one, right? So you could edit this. We could go over to elements and I could find a Las Vegas background, for example, and I could drag that in and just paste it in that one. And then I could go to the next one and drag that in and paste it in the other. So that I'm, I'm getting a different type. And if I want it to be neighborhoods, you know, it, it just kind of makes it look just a little bit different. So they don't all look like the exact same picture, but that's a prerogative. You could also do a solid background, whatever it is that you want. So, oh yeah, and there's one with video that's cool too. So let me show you how exactly how this is done. So we would go to the home page and of Canva. And by the way, my understanding is the bulk create is only available with Canva Pro. So I do have a link to the description in the description to check out Canva Pro. That one is a paid version. I pay for my Canva Pro version to have the pro features. And then I'm also an affiliate with Canva, which means I also benefit if you do use my link and sign up, there's not any extra cost to you. So up here, you can pick Instagram story, Instagram post, you could pick Facebook graphics, you could pick LinkedIn graphics, but those will, those would be done separately. But it, most of us understand that if we make an Instagram post, it's going to work on Twitter, it's going to work on Facebook, it's going to resize. Now, if you're doing stories and you want to do these long skinny stories right here. Okay. So in this particular case, Let's just go ahead and go with an Instagram post. It's square. It works on all the platforms. It'll get the job done. And then you can just either type in a keyword. Like in my case, I did this. I came up here and I typed in quote. And now you can see all the different templates that are already designed for a quote. Now, if your quotes are longer, Keep in mind, you're going to need some extra space. You probably don't want to use this one that's got a tiny little square on it because you're not going to be able to get enough of your quote in there. So you, you want to find something that's going to take up most of the page. So we'll go with something. Let's just go ahead and go with this one. Now, if you have a brand kit with colors, you can go ahead and click here and you could change this to whatever your brand colors are. Okay, in this particular case, mine's already up. So if I want that background to be orange or I want it to be yellow or I want it to be black, I can change each little element on here to be one of my brand colors. You know, you, you play around with it. That's obviously not very pretty there. <laughs> I don't like that one at all. So what I would do is I'm going to go back to design and I could also put something in like blue quote. So if my colors are blue, then I can come in here and pick something that's more alike my colors if I don't want to sit there and change them like that. But that's an option. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pl let's play with this one and see. Now what I would do is change any elements that you want to be changed on every graphic before we upload that spreadsheet to create the bulk graphics. So for example, I might change this to at ballonvegas.com because that's going to be my URL that I want to show up on everyone. Probably don't need the at sign on that one. And then I may need to shrink that font down a little bit to fit all these quotes in. Or I can also make those squares bigger, but let's give it a try because you really don't know until you try it. Is that template going to work? So the next thing we're going to do is I already have bulk create open here because I've already opened it once. So now it's going to stay on that side column for me. If you don't see that there, go to apps 
and up here type in bulk and the, it'll it'll come up with bulk create for you for the first time. Again, mine's mine's down here. So either spot you should be able to find it. Once you have bulk create, and that is if you're on the pro version, right? Once you have bulk create open, the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna upload that CSV file that we downloaded from Google. So I'm gonna go to upload CSV. Here is my document, untitled spreadsheet, and I'm gonna click open. So now it's already in here. All we have to do now is just this little text where we want that quote to be inserted. We right click on it, connect data. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is perfect. So what we can see now before we bulk create the rest of them is we can see that this is too large of a text. These quotes, there's, the quotes are too big. So we can either drag this down to fit it in there better. That actually works quite well. And then I can actually make this a little bit bigger because I think that font's gonna be a little hard to read. So I, I wanna make sure that it fits. Now, if I have any quotes that are longer than that one, I may still have to resize them after the fact, but this kind of, this gets it in there and if I wanted to, if I don't like that font and I say, gosh, that font's kind of hard to read, you could play around with the different fonts too. And remember that every image after this is going to repeat whatever we put on that first one. So you want to get that first one really like you like it. So let's go ahead and see what this would look like if we mass create it now. So all we have to do on the left-hand side is click continue and then it'll list all of those quotes and I'm gonna say generate 24 pages. Ah, beautiful. That turned out really good. Now you have all of your, so you basically have a month's worth of posts that you could use every single day. The next thing you could do is you could download this and then go schedule those posts manually, or you could download this and use your favorite social media content calendar scheduler to post. You can also do it from Canva, but you can't, at least to my understanding, you can't post all 26 scheduled out over 26 days in one shot. You would have to schedule each one of them and on each platform. Somebody asked me, why don't you use Canva to schedule all your posts? Because I'd rather go into a social media tool, upload the image one time, and then have it scheduled out to Twitter and to Facebook and to LinkedIn and Instagram and Pinterest, anywhere else I want it to go. But for example, if you did want to use Canva, you come up here and you go to share, and then you go to share on social, and then you can see them all individually here, or you can click schedule. And then you can pick the day that you want to schedule this. So in this case, it would be tomorrow. And you pick the time and then click next. Then you're going to select a channel, which would be your social media channel. If you have not already got your social media channels up here, you can click select a channel and then you'll be able to connect it. So I did LinkedIn profile earlier. Looks like Pinterest is already here. Let me try Instagram for business. It might, it might have already been connected, but this will give you an idea of what it would look like. And then you'll say continue. And then you'll pick your business accounts that you want to post to. And then we're just going to pick which one we want from up here. So I'll do Instagram and I'll do Balan Blogger for this particular case. And then you can see it says you've selected more pages than this platform except so you can't, you're, we can't send out all 26. So it's saying, which one do you want to post? And then here, if you wanted to, you could do hashtags. You also could go back to ChatGPT and you could say, give me the most popular hash. Well, let me move that little camera. Hashtags for real estate agents. So these might be an example and you could get more specific. You could say hashtags on LinkedIn, hashtags on Instagram, 
So go ahead and pick like real estate advice might be a good one. And then I would come back over here to Canva and I'm going to paste in another one. And then we're going to click schedule and now it's preparing the design. So there are tools again, that'll let you upload the picture once and then pick all the channels you want to broadcast to at one time. In this particular case, we're going to be doing it one by one. Then you can go over to the content planner and you can see everything scheduled out. So it's a nice feature. It's a nice feature. To me, it's just a lot of work doing the individual ones that way. So that answers somebody's question why I don't, don't do it all on, on here. Typically it's for that reason. And then here you can see, I have got several scheduled for today, going out to Facebook and to Twitter. And that's how it's done. Hope that's helpful. If you enjoy this series, head over to lauriballon.com. I actually have a mailing list for chat GPT for real estate descriptions that you can pick up there, or you can use the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today.